I should get my phone out. All right, so for today, I'm just gonna do a bunch of pull-ups. Um, I'm gonna go pretty hard out of the gate. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I'm nice and uh, warm. I'm not gonna pull anything. I'm a little bit uh, soft right now. And I'm getting text messages. All right. Werewolf, how's it going? I'm getting uh, texted. All right, so I'm going to get my, put that away, get my head back into this. How are you doing today? I'm a little bit, uh, before my workout today, I probably had like eight to 10 protein bars. Feel a little bit iffy. Oh. But I'm probably gonna start right out the gate, see how many pull-ups I can do in five minutes. I want this thing the other way around though. Or I'm going to be bashing my knees on the front. How's this view here? I'm a little bit rickety today. What kind of uh, bench do you, do you have? I've got uh, one that's outside, but it doesn't fit my dimensions. The bars holding up the weight are, well, the, the vertical stands hold up the weight are right where I want to put my hands. So I've been using my squat rack and my travel bench to bench lately. Thinking about doing some pull-ups before bed tonight and then uh, doing some legs again tomorrow. And I'm hoping, if all goes well, I will be, I will be back at the gym, full into a regular schedule starting Monday. That's... That's the, the hope and dreams right now. Uh, still somewhat in quarantine and lockdown. All right, so a plate 75, so a, a plate 25. So that's 185 pounds. All right. I'm gonna do a set of 10. I'm gonna cool down and then I'm gonna do uh, a five, as many pulses as I, as I can do in five minutes. And then I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, I'm not going to do 10. Just because I want to say, I want to give it my all in just a few minutes. I'm going to get my clock open. Get my... 
Timer? No. Maybe timer? Yeah, five minutes. Do you have uh like what when you say 180 like when you say 185 I'm assuming that's at your home without a spotter or is that uh you're at the gym one rep max you have a spotter to keep you safe uh, my bench max is about 360 pounds or at least it was um a couple months ago I was watching another streamer, his name is Destroy, and he got me, uh, he was talking about it, he's like, you know what, you've, like, you've, you've got to be able to at least bench more than me. So I hadn't done, even tried a max bench in a long time. Give me a sec, I just want to turn on a fan because I'm dying here. It's already getting hot. And so out of nowhere... I hadn't tried benching more than like 300 pounds um, basically in a year and a half. And I was, I do more hypertrophy. Like I do like 285 and do it for reps, but I never had anyone to spot me. So I'm like 315, right? I'm, I, I'm sure I can do 315. I did like, like a set of three for 315 and it felt easy. So I like, okay, let's, uh, that like, I'm, I'm going to go right up, right? So I just added on. Like, uh, what did I, like, I, I, what did I do? I, I think I went straight to 360 and that set hurt me. I felt things give and I actually popped a rib out. The ribs come all the way up, up your back. Um, so, uh, I was sore for a couple of weeks after until I got to put back in. You at the gym with the buddy? Okay. I'm going to psych myself up. Wish me luck. It's going to be five minutes. I'm going to, for the next five minutes, I'm going to uh, save my oxygen because that's going to be a limiting factor. And I don't expect to do great right now. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit soft. I've been quarantining i've been recovering from a back injury and uh got a little bit of water weight on me but none of that's going to hold me back i'm going to give it my best shot but i'm making excuses so i don't have to struggle right now but you know what i'm going to get this thing close. i'm going to add on an extra five seconds give myself time to get there all right so i'm going to give myself five minutes five seconds i'm going to hit this button i'm going to turn my phone up so that you guys hear it when I If I didn't count wrong, in 20 seconds, 25. Okay, this thing tilted backwards and hit me in the jaw. That was I actually think right here my floor is not actually level. Yeah, this, or something's happened. This thing's off balance. Why is it doing that? I wonder if I bent something in here. I probably bent something. Crap.
hope you guys are counting. I don't know how many I've done. Hope that's not five minutes yet. Forty five seconds left to go. I don't know how many I've done. 15, 80, 40. All right, great. I lost count because uh, I think I bent my pull up frame. I think it's bent on here and it's at a little bit of an angle. So now when I pull, it wants to come back this way. So I put some 10 pound plates at the front and that, and that helped. But, uh, whew. Oh, so how do I do? Ooh. 
Well, hope you have a good workout. Oh, that took a lot out of me. That was just five minutes. But I'm feeling my last for sure. I think I'm going to switch to chin-ups. Throw some variations so I can uh, keep going. But once I catch my breath, I might try it again. I want to check something here. Hmm. All right, so I think I broke it. No. So one of I'm going to play around with my settings really quick. And I will. All right. Oh, my protein bars. Oh. Oh. I might do another uh, five minute pull up challenge. Even though right now I might only, I might only be able to do five at once, but those take an adequate amount of uh, energy out of me. Alternatively, I could just take every set from now to failure. That's an option.
we won't do it. They're not agreeing with me right now. Yeah, I got too much water weight. Just wait. I'll uh, get back to my regular schedule soon. All right. So I think I'm going to give myself another five minutes to do as many pulls as I can. My first one I got, I didn't count, but I'm going to assume 50 to 60. This one, uh, let's, let's try to get, let's try to get 20. We'll see. When you're tired, it's not so easy anymore. All right, let's, let's give it a shot. Save my energy, save my oxygen. Mike Woods, how's it going? I'm seeing how many pull-ups I can do in five minutes for the second time so far. UFC 4. I remember playing uh, the old WrestleMania games with my brother. He was a maniac. All right. I got two and a half minutes left. Okay, I'm gonna wait till, I'm gonna give myself a full 30 seconds, 15 more seconds. <laughs> oh. 
One minute left. One minute ten. Uh, it's going good. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, going back out in the world in quarantine and all that. I didn't get that one. Three, two, one. Ugh. Oh. Oh. No, I, I haven't, but I have to act under the assumption that I'm asymptomatic right now because I had a fair bit of close contact, which means basically the only people I interact with caught it, except for me. Oh, I got a bunch of negative tests here, but when I first when I first uh, went to quarantine, they didn't have any tests available for distribution, and the and the ones that they were that they were giving out were only for people who were symptomatic. But if you've had contact, you still have to quarantine, and then uh, you got to take a series of tests, and then even then. I am just out of the quarantine period, but I'm going to keep going for an extra five days because the uh, advice that we're following now is based off of the CDC's uh, findings with regards to Omicron, where it's most aggressive in the first couple days. And uh, so once you're symptomatic, uh, as long as you wait until you're not symptomatic, Five days after that, they were saying that was good enough. Uh, their later findings are show, show that no, it's not like five days is enough. Ten days is, is enough to have more than 90% of, of people no longer being contagious. Oh, I'm feeling like I'm feeling this trying to lift my arms over my head. You tested positive Monday. Yikes. It was messed up Sunday and Monday, but Tuesday you felt better? Yeah, I started to hear that. Uh, my recommendations is try not to pass it on to anybody. But at the same time, I'm looking down from a place of privilege where I can afford to have these freedoms to go on a... Uh, on, on quarantine, I can I can afford to like I, I can survive. It's not gonna break the bank. So I have the freedom for options that a lot of other people might not have. But I'm gonna take advantage of those freedoms to do my part. And I do not want to bring this back to my office. I don't like. I, uh, like I've been having, it's been difficult coordinating with my boss without having in-person meetings, but I don't want to bring any of that stuff back to him because that would like shut down the whole company and it's just like, oh, right before streaming, I had like eight to 10 of my homemade protein bars and it's not agreeing with my stomach right now. 
Those things are thick. They're delicious. They're addicting, and they go and they're very filling. But if you eat them fast, you can get a lot down before you realize how filling that they actually are. Well, I'm glad you had a speedy recovery, and hopefully you're not the worst of it. Myself, I'm less afraid of catching it, more afraid of passing it on, passing it on to others. Oh, I don't have the, I don't have the fan on me anymore. It's making me sweat. Instantly better. Well, had a conversation just uh, the other day about COVID, uh, particularly about how people are treating each other. Harley Prey, I do not have a TikTok. I have an Instagram that I post things on. Um, I created Discord early on when I started to stream because I had several people who wanted to uh, ask me more personal fitness advice. Um, and it was easier to do it on that platform. But unless I specifically asked to, I don't really log into it at all. Oh, I've had fun this workout. I've done two five minute pull-up challenges so far. And the first one went pretty well. Started off with a set of 20, and then I just kept doing five, 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 five. I, I had to have hit at least 50 pull-ups in five minutes. And then the next one, not not, not even close. Um, I don't know if Mike Woods was there counting or if he dropped in halfway, but it was uh, like half that maybe, maybe 25, I don't know. I think I did 10, and then I was basically doing twos and ones. It was it was slow, but I did my best. Hi, how are, how, how are you doing? No, hi. How, 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 how would I say hi with uh, lots of eyes? I'm, I'm sure you said it much cuter than I did. Or maybe, maybe it's a friendly, hey, hey, hey. All right. I threw in some tin ups there. Right now I'm waiting until I can feel my lats again before I go do some more pull ups. I'm listening to something new today, but I'd rather enjoy it.
I think this is a remix of something. Beyond by Leon Bridges. I'm bad with lyrics, but uh, I can hear the musicality in songs. Um, just some Spotify playlist created by others. I, uh, I think last time I was, I was clicking on random things, whereas in the past it would, it would be blues, it would be stuff that I could dance West Coast to, largely because I would follow some of the dance instructors and they put together their playlist and I watch that, so it's very danceable music. This is taking a lot of my air I've been saving up for my next set. Breathe. You're about to run to the store. Well, stay safe. Have fun. Thanks for dropping by. Tomorrow I'll do a leg day on stream. My last one was successful for me coming off an injury. I didn't push myself. Um, got used to using the belt. I was still squatting 250 pounds without any like paint, like pin, pain, pings of pain. That's the best I got right now. All right, I'm gonna stop dancing. I'm gonna have my news out here. Now that uh, Mike Woods is taken off, I'm gonna do another five minute pull up set. As many pull ups as I, as I can do in five minutes. I'll try to count. Hopefully, I can be 20. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll, we'll see though. It's gonna be, it's gonna be rough. And then maybe I'll just throw in some push-ups or something else. I can feel my heater's on. I'm going to turn my heater down. No, that thing doesn't need to be on. All right, let's set up a next five minute timer. I'm a little bit annoyed that the uh, heat went on. I think I'm getting water wrong too, been drinking too much water. All right, this is gonna suck, but let's do it. Five minutes, as many pulls as I can. Open up the. There we go. 
I just opened up the, uh, it's minus like 25 degrees Celsius out there. But having it nice and cool will help out a lot. Uh, you gotta laugh at yourself. All right. Five minutes. Actually, I'm gonna cancel that. The song isn't the best. Mostly just because I can't hear it. Better. Five minutes. It's not okay. It doesn't pump me up, but it's good enough. So 15. Two or three. Or two. Two minutes left, not even, less than two minutes.
I think that's 30. Thirty-one, maybe thirty. Thirty, thirty-one. Forty-five seconds. Hit thirty-five. Two. Twenty seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh, Milky Way 087, how's it going? I just, for the third time, I challenged myself to see how many pulls I could do in five minutes. Oh, I was down to single pulls at a time there. I can feel my arm, my lats, my arm just bounced off my lats right now. Oh. Yeah, I'm uh come back in uh, two weeks, and I'll be mo a lot more chiseled out. I've been in quarantine. I've also been recovering from a back injury, so I'm carrying a little bit more water weight right now. I also just ate a bunch of protein bars. Oh, I make them myself. They're the most. Yeah, I like my. For me, I care more more about my triceps and my biceps, but uh, I'm not putting in a lot of work on either right now. Focusing on uh, the compound lifts, uh, but for right now, I want my main focus to be on my legs. Um, 2018, I herniated my disc and I tore my glute, and I could not train my legs up until the beginning of 2020. So uh, I used to be like like. I did my best to become a back with legs. I used to have really, really nice legs. And uh, to, when I couldn't train them for two years, they just shriveled up in real time. I lost my ass. But then uh, 2020, I can start training again. And now my legs are thick and they're strong. But I was training them more for functionality and strength. Uh, I was doing less for hypertrophy. Um, so they're not shaped the way I want them to be right now. Like I'm making steady improvements, but I, I need like two years to get what I want. That's that's the time frame I'm looking at right now. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't uh, by my choice. I couldn't pick up anything off the ground, but I was strong here. So as long as I had my weights up here, I was strong. But I couldn't put my dumbbells on the floor. I wouldn't be able to pick them up. I'd have to put them on a shelf and uh, work with them that way. Um, I could do pull-ups, so I did a lot of pull-ups. Uh, 
All right. I'm going to get these 10 pound plates off here. I think I've actually bent this rack. It's, it's uh, wobbling a little bit on me, which is uh, unfortunate. So let's turn this around. How are you doing this fine night? Thank you for dropping by. I started streaming January 2021. So it's been a year. Um, made a lot of improvements over that year. And uh, had my first setback this month. But uh, I'll bounce back quick. All right. Let's turn this a little bit more. Oh, I don't know if I'm able to do this right now. Like, like right now, I'm too spent to do anything like one-arm pull-ups. Uh, on a good day, I can. Uh, but my lats are tired. But I think I can do straight arm, straight arm lat pullovers. So I'm going to try the next thing up from that. Oh man, that was not, all right. Oh, my lats, no, <laughs> I don't got it left in me. Trying to, well, wish you luck, hope that all works out for you. It takes uh, a lot of effort, and it starts off slow, but uh, hopefully you, uh, th th there's always the journey, right? So there's always something you can take to use to grow. You get uh, various life experiences. You build some character along the way, and... Uh, with a lot of effort and a little bit of luck, you can, you, you, like, so, so somebody's got to make it. Why can't it be you? Yeah, for myself, I'm keeping my online presence not on the DL, but for me, what's more important is having enjoyable home workouts. The whole reason I started streaming was because um, when when COVID hit, the first lockdown, I was fine. I took all my weights outside. I'd go work it out. I, I would work out outside. Then we reopened and I, I, was, I was back at the gym. But then second lockdown hit in winter. And then suddenly it was like, it was hot in my apartment when I was training. It was like, I, I wasn't enjoying my home workouts. And uh, then I started slipping, and finally I'm like, I gotta stop the bleeding. I just gotta show up. But uh, I start and that, uh, December 2020 is when I started watching Twitch, and I'm like, I could use this as a platform to uh, hold myself accountable, just to show up. And I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. So uh, I've, I've had a lot of good workouts on stream. My Twitch dad, I don't know. I'm not even, uh, I, I, I made affiliate my first month, but I haven't even set the thing up. I, uh, it's easier if I don't have to worry about subscribers or anything like that. I, I, I have my regulars which show up and I actually, it's really nice having somebody who regularly shows up and, uh, um, you sort of see their progress over time. And if I'm able to inspire anybody to lift a little or just try to improve themselves uh, in whatever way that they that they so choose, it's uh, rewarding. All right. I'm feeling my last. I really am. I, I think I'm done pull-ups. I'm going to do one more set of 10. I'm going to do some chin-ups first. They don't count as pull-ups. I'll do my chin-ups, do another set of 10 of pull-ups. And then I might uh, start doing some rows, and then uh, let's, uh... oh man.
These bars are annoying. Oh. Pod save the queen. <laughs> Step bro. All my children. I don't know if I'm uh, dad material though. I'm, I'm a fun uncle, right? You, if, if, like, I'll come over and I'll pick you up and I'll throw you in the air, right? And then uh, in the end, uh, you'll have a good time. And then I'll go home before all the uh, <laughs> before all the dad stuff has to kick in. I'm 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 great with kids. That's literally what I do. Pick them up, throw them on my shoulder, run 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 uh, run around the block with them, grab them, spin them, throw them in the air. Once uh, I'm a little bit older, and if I'm not able to do that anymore, I'm not going to know what to do with them. Uh, like I'll, I'll get down there and I'll play hide and seek with them. It doesn't. Uh, I'm a, I'm a big kid at heart. Now, see, I've only ever dropped one person before, and that was my sister. My baby sister, she's, like, at the time, she was over 250 pounds, I, I, would, I would guess. And uh, my dad taught her how to, how to throw a punch, and she... She's slow, but she puts a lot of weight behind it, and so she's solid, and uh, her and I were scrapping a bit, and she went to go lunge at me. I went low, got her on my shoulder, picked her up, and uh, this was at Thanksgiving supper at my dad's girlfriend's house, and because it was Thanksgiving supper, she happened to have her dinner fork in her hand, which she stabbed me in the throat with, and, and as soon as that went in, like, it pierced my, I just, ugh. Ah! And, and boom, that, that one she goes. I'm like, okay, that doesn't count. <laughs> that, was, that was your fault. I, I, I refuse to admit that I dropped because now I'm fine. I dropped you. I'm sorry. I've never dropped anyone before. And then uh, I have walked my sister's kid into a door frame um, twice. So what happened is she brought her kids over to town. She, she lives uh, several provinces over. I live in Canada. And the entire time her kid was here, he's got ADHD. And, and he was he spent the, like hours on my shoulders. And I was running, like chasing the dog with him on my shoulders. And we were just, right? So, so he spent uh, all the time on my shoulders. And finally, uh, my dad has a spare house on his, on his property, um, on his acreage that my sister was staying in. And... The door frame is a little low, so I ducked with him, and I walked through the door frame, but I didn't duck enough, and because I ducked, I was confident, bashed his forehead into this door frame, and uh, so he's crying, right, and I'm just like, oh man, I'm sorry, little, little, little guy, um, but then, so his mother just gives me the, gives me the stink eye, right, and, but finally pats him on the back and sends him to go, right, so, so, he, so right away, he's like, he's like up, he wants to, wants to go back on my, on my shoulders, so I throw him back, like leg, leg over my one leg, one, one leg, and down if I don't duck and do the same damn thing again. Only this time, like, shh, shh, shh. If, if, if you cry, your mother's not gonna allow you on my shoulders anymore. <laughs> so suck it up, little buddy. And so he like just snip a little bit, but he, he, he didn't cry because he knew uh, his mother would, uh, would, would uh, forbid him from getting back to my shoulders. Yeah, so he, he, was, a little bit of, he was a little trooper that day. But uh, damned if I didn't do the exact same thing again. <laughs> and the second time was worse. Like, I could hear the thud. I'm like, oh no. Uh, all right, so I'm going to do another set. Um, I've done three five minute pull-up challenges so far where I see how many pull-ups I can do in five minutes. I've lost count the first two times. The first time was probably over 60. I'm not sure. Second time, I have absolutely no idea. I couldn't tell you. You have to put a gun in my head. Third time, I think, was 37. So uh, the quality keeps going down to the point where I'm doing single pull-ups just to get up there. I'm going to try, like right now, I'm just feeling my arms bounce off my lats. I'm going to do uh, 
another set. I think I'm just going to go to failure. If that's five, that's five. I feel like I can do at least 10 right now. But uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go till I strain. That's, that's the plan. Although I don't like doing it with the set up this way because I can hit my legs in front of me. So I'm actually going to turn this around. There we go. And let's go. Can you guys see me? Yep. Ah, oh, that sucks. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to. Oh, man. That was all I had left in the, in the tank, guys. At least for pull-ups. All right. Let's see if this one can pick up my calluses. <laughs> well, in the before times, I did partner dancing multiple times a week. And my rule was uh, if I didn't work out first, I couldn't go and play. So I would uh, work out, go home, shower, get cleaned up, and go straight to partner dancing. But... At the time, I would file them down. I would moisturize my hands because most women tend to have an aversion to feeling your calluses. <laughs> Except uh, there was one time where I went right from the gym to partner dancing without the stop at home. And the workout I did, I was doing deadlifts, heavy deadlifts, like 500 plus pound deadlifts. And uh, my hands were all uh, calloused up. And I had, a, like, I was dancing with someone, and she's like, oh, your calluses are so sexy. I'm like, whoa, that, 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 that's, a, that's, a, that's a new one. But she was a, a personal trainer, so she uh, appreciated all the work I put in to get them. But right now they're even uh, they're starting to peel a little bit because I've been less active. All right. Oh, I had too much to eat. <laughs> Plus uh, all the water I drank over this workout. You know, sloshing around in there. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, I had fun. I'm going to see if there's anybody uh, that I know on right now. Share the love. Tomorrow I'll be doing, um, I'll, I'll do some legs.
All right, so there's this guy here. He's a professional bodybuilder with the uh, results to prove it. I can, I can feel all the lactic acid building up in my lats right now. Like I, I can actually just... Yeah, one thing is since I started working out, my armpits have gotten so much larger. Like, like I, I remember uh, being a twig and uh, now I got armpits. <laughs> See if I can. It's hard to flex when you're on your knees, though. Normally, I, I like seeing striations in my shoulders. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago I actually. Uh, I got knocked out of a boat, landed on my knee. I got uh, some bone bruising in my knee, but I'm already uh, able to kneel and no no issues anymore. All right, so pod save the queens, Milky Way. Thanks for uh, coming by. Hope to see you around uh, in the near future. 2022 is young. I got the whole year ahead of me to work out. Um, let's all just stay safe. And uh, thank you for joining me on my journey to uh, improve myself one day at a time, a little bit here and there. It adds up. Have a good night.